Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Diwali special, very crispy and delicious chakli. It's a very special Diwali snack in India and it's called Murukhu also. They are very crispy and delicious to eat as a tea time snack and it's very easy to make also. So let's see the recipe. At first we have to make the dough. So I have taken a bowl as you can see and now I have taken a cup of half cup measurement. I have taken half cup of rice flour here and I'll take another half cup of rice flour. I mean total 1 cup of rice flour I am taking. That means I have added 1 cup of rice flour into the bowl. And now we have to add besan that means chickpea flour or gram flour. So I have taken a sieve and now I am adding half cup of gram flour here. We have to sieve it because usually gram flour has so many lumps. So let's sieve the gram flour. It's done. Now we have to add some spices, first I am adding 1 teaspoon of salt, about 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, half teaspoon of carom seeds, we have to crush them in our palms this way and now I am taking half teaspoon of cumin seeds and 1 teaspoon of white sesame seeds, they will make our chakli very delicious. And now I am taking one pinch of turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is fully optional. Now we have to add about one fourth cup of ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. But you may take refined oil instead. There is no problem. But ghee will give it a super delicious taste. Now I have added about one fourth cup of ghee here. As you can see. And now we have to mix it very properly with the powder. We have to use our hand and my hand is very nicely clean. I am mixing it very properly with my hand this way. I will rub the mixture this way with my hand as you can see. And now it is done. The texture is like this. Now it is the time to add hot water to the dough. Now we need boiling hot water. Here I have taken boiling hot water. Now we have to add water gradually and mix the mixture. I will use a spoon to mix the mixture because it is extremely hot. So I am doing this. Do not add so much water at a time because we have to maintain the consistency of the dough. We have to make a soft dough for chakli. I am adding water gradually and mixing the dough. And now it's okay. Now we have to give the finishing of the dough with our hand. It's hot of course, but still we have to use our hand. So I'm using my hand. I'll knead the dough like a dough for chapati or roti. We have to make a soft dough. Don't make very hard dough because chaklis from hard dough will not be perfect and they will break. The consistency should be like this. I am showing you. This is the consistency. Now we have to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes with a cover. And after that we will make chaklis. After 10 to 15 minutes we are going to make chaklis here. Here I got a chakli maker as you can see. It is called kitchen press also. I have bought it from online market and this is the dice for chakli, a star shaped nozzle. We have to place it in the dice and now we will grease some oil so that the dough not stick to the plate and we will grease the inner side of the cylinder too to avoid stickiness this way. You may use ghee instead, there is no problem, but I am using oil here. Now we have to close the part, the nozzle part with the cylinder. 
it's ready and here is the piston part actually my chakli maker has a little fault dough comes upper side of the piston so I am solving it I have taken a foil paper and I'll use it this way if your machine has this fault then you may use this trick it will solve your problem now we'll fill dough in the cylinder I'm greasing some oil on my palms and now we'll fill the dough in the cylinder part this way we have to press it nicely so that the air comes out it's full and now we have to place the piston part on it and close the chakli maker it's called murukku maker also now our chakli maker is ready to make chaklis here it is now we have to take a plate and grease some oil on plate you may take any uh, baking paper or foil paper or anything or you may take a plate like me and grease some oil on it and after that we will make chaklis on our plate we have to press the kitchen press and uh, make a round chakli this way you must have to make soft dough for chaklis because a hard dough will give you broken chaklis and now we will seal the end part of the chakli our first chakli is ready to be fried and this way we will prepare all our chaklis My first plate is full as you can see. Now I'll take a second plate and make chaklis on it also. Our chaklis are looking very beautiful, isn't it? And now I'm keeping it aside and taking another plate and making chaklis on it also. We have to leave the chaklis for 10 to 15 minutes to be set and after that we'll fry them. Don't fry the chaklis instantly after making to avoid breaking. And now my second plate is also full and I'll make the rest of the chaklis behind camera. So let's leave them for 10 to 15 minutes to be set and after that let's go for frying. I have taken a fry pan to fry them and I'm adding some cooking oil. We have to let the oil heat mediumly and after that we will add the chaklis one by one. I am checking the oil. I have added a small ball of dough and so many bubbles are coming from it. It means the oil is mediumly hot. Now keep the heat medium and add the chaklis one by one. I am adding chaklis with my hand. You may add a spatula for this work. It will help you prevent breaking the chaklis. I have added 4 chaklis only in the first batch. Now we have to wait for 3 to 4 minutes and after that we will flip them. The heat should be on medium. If we fry them on low heat they will be very hard to eat and if we fry them on high heat they will burn from the upper side before being crispy. So the heat should be on medium constantly and now I'm flipping them as you can see now we have to fry them until a nice golden red color we have to keep flipping them so that they can be fried evenly and now let's wait for a nice golden red color don't make very dark color in the pan because after cooling down they will be darker and now the color is very nicely golden red as you can see I am showing you from near here you can see they are now ready to take off 
so now I am taking them off from the pan I will remove the oil very nicely and in the same way I will make the rest of the chaklis I am adding the second batch of chaklis and they are also ready as you can see I am taking them off also and I will make the rest of the chaklis behind camera and here they are after cooling down the color is a little darker I am showing you that they are so much crispy and very much crunchy chakli is a very special diwali snack and it's very delicious to eat as a tea time snack and the recipe is also very easy to try as you have seen so try this simple recipe and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching enjoy your diwali Bye-bye. Take care.